father was telling me that if you don't dress well, the ushers will usher you to the back. He tried it once or twice and found himself at the back. So when he goes now, he goes well packaged. So when they say, Glory, look, look at you suit. Take him, take him to the front. So he goes to the front. He sits there and wake up one day and say he's no longer a man. That is not a woman. Then he goes and takes injections and everything. He starts dressing like a woman. Bro, you are a man. Welcome to Kingdom of the TV channel. Here you will be watching another five spiritual video that will advance your spiritual walk with God. Please stay connected to us as you're going to be blessed. Don't forget to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. Please do well to drop your comment as well. And I pray that the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Thank you and God bless you. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> as well beloved children imitate their father. So the recommendation is whenever I see a believer, I should see a copy of who? Are you here? I see a copy of who? Jesus. Who also is the express image of who? The father. So by implication, if I see Pastor TJ, or I see Pastor Ferdinand, or I see my beloved sister, or I see Destiny, or I see um, uh, Yoma, or I see Pastor Mine, or I see Harrison, or I see anybody, who I should see is who? Jesus. By implication, I should see the Father. He says in the Amplified, as well beloved children imitate their fathers. So that means the imitation, even though it is in your DNA to look like your father, the imitation process has to be deliberate. Are you here? Even though you are born into the graces of God by salvation, he says, as well beloved children imitate who? Their father. If you go to a family and you see children, most of the time they will try and do things that their parents do. They will, try, they will try to say words that their parents say. They will try to act in a certain way because they are looking at their parents. So it has to be a conscious, deliberate thing. It has to come to us that salvation was not to create a new breed. Salvation was to bring you into alignment. You need to know that if you are called to the music ministry, you have not been called to be creative. You have been called to align. Pastor Vier was trying to say something yesterday night that when he talks about the ordination, he talks about being ordered on the paths that other men have walked on. You are not called to be creative. You are called to what? Align. When I used to work in Chevron, they used to tell us that you, 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 it's, it's basically copy and paste. If they call you to do something, to do a risk assessment, for instance, the template is already there for you. It's already there. Your job is to take the unique situation that you are found in and put it where? In the template. Your job is not to design a new template to suit the situation. Are you here? Your job is to take the unique situation and put it in the template. The template has where you put the topic of the risk assessment. It has where you put description. It has where you now begin to identify the risks. It has where you begin to put the control measures. You don't just come up and draw your own template. You draw the template and you submit it for approval. The first thing that will make them reject it is not because you didn't do a good work, but because you didn't follow what? The template. So most of the time, what is happening in the Nigerian church is that it's not as if we are not doing this. The truth is that some people are sincerely in error. Some people are doing these things passionately. Their hearts are true, but they entered into a wrong template. So Paul gives every believer a recommendation. It's a recommendation. You notice he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't force it on us. He said, be ye. Imitate us. Deliberately. Make it a conscious effort. This is why Jesus was bold. Anytime a man met Jesus, anytime Jesus began to speak, things that came out of his mouth were things like, he that has seen me has seen the Father. It was a consciousness in which he lived. If the music minister does not have this understanding from day one, that you are not to mirror Tim Goffrey. You are not to mirror Frank Edwards. You are not to mirror Tasha Cobbs. Eh? You know, when I, when I came on Facebook about three years ago, when Tasha Cobbs did a collabo with Nicki Minaj, I came on Facebook some three years ago and I said, a collabo made in heaven and I put a question mark. And then I wrote a long essay. And certain people came on that. And they accused me. I know one particular brother. I know him. Because we're all in the youth church together. 
Eh? He came there and was speaking and telling me about grace and telling me that brother today, he doesn't even know Jesus. Eh? Today, that me and you are talking, he doesn't know Jesus. At that time, he was dating a sister. The sister too was a teenager whom I had ministered to many times in meetings like this. She too came at the bottom and was because they were in a relationship. Me, I did, poor me, I didn't know that she came as Voltron to defend her union. Mm, poor me, I didn't know. So I was responding. And it got to a point, I said, what am I talking about? That is the kind of generation we have raised. We don't know the template. So people are saying that, do you know whether God told her to go and do a collab with Nicki Minaj? God, eh? God. And he did, he, among all his children, he didn't see anybody to do to, for you to do collab with. He's, he's the one that sang, my anaconda is bigger than yours. Eh? That's the one he said, go and do collab with. Of a truth, nobody can put God in a box. His ways are not our ways. I cannot speak for him and say, this is surely what the Lord must do. But what he did was that the Bible says that the ways of the Lord have been expressly made unto us in his commandments. So I may not be able to know God in totality, but I know a little about him by what I have read about him. This is why you will notice in the Old Testament, whenever they wanted to transfer knowledge, the Lord will tell the fathers, rehearse this in the hearing of your children. So that when they grow old, they will know some dimensions about God, not necessarily by their own experience, but by the experience of their fathers. Today, the last time we heard a Tasha Cobb song that moved the body of Christ, was the time before she did a collab. You don't need to believe me. Go and research. Before the collab, we had songs like you provide the fire. I will be the sacrifice. The body. It was a song from the Lord. Like pastor was telling us yesterday. But since the collab, we don't have a song that has come to the body that has made any meaning. Be ye imitators of God. I have nothing against major concerts and major, major meetings they do. But I have always asked myself that how can a man call it the biggest worship meeting in Africa and the world and you put a comedian who me I know eh, makes comedy that is lewd and sexual and you put him there on that pulpit and yet the garden is called a garden of believers. We have jesters to the Lord. A garden to the Lord and the Lord himself is missing. The last experience some of us could not watch. It was almost like comedy. It was, it was almost like, like entertainment. You know, when you go into the wrong template, it might sustain something for a while. But give it time. When we sing songs like take my heart and let it be consecrated Lord to thee take my moments and my days let it flow in ceaseless pray if you like sing that song 20 years from now when I die that song will still be living have you read about that woman Frances Havigar have you read about her her biography says that when she entered into a room, it was like you could sense the presence of another. The Holy Spirit was like a living reality around her. Like a living reality. If she walked into a room, you will sense, you, you, you do come alone. She moved around with the Holy Ghost. Don't believe me, read her biography. But now, the average worship leader is looking for a song that people can shaku and zanku and onagatu. Eh? When they released that album, I went to uh, uh, YouTube. I was trying to watch a message and I saw the preview of the, of the, of the album. I think he did it with Hestin or I can't remember. Eh? And the comment that one guy made, he said, thank God. You don't need to believe me. Look for the video on YouTube. He said, thank God. I don't need to find someone where I go take Zanku for church. Thank God. Tim Godfrey, bless you, bless you. You see, I want to show you where we are. Where we are in the music ministry. I will show you the template. I'm going to the template. Oh. I, I pray I can get there. How did we become this? I was lamenting tomorrow in the car. That one of my burdens, one of my burdens is, why does it seem as if the church in our day, eh, ministry in our day, 
is not as powerful as the days of men like A.W. Tozer. Why? And yet, if you put us side by side with these people, we are more technologically advanced. I remember I read a book, Yoma, one night, and I was reading about C.H. Spurgeon, preaching to 6,000 people without a microphone. I nearly died in my bed. Without a microphone? 6,000. What was he telling them that even a baby was not crying? Eh? What was he saying? How, how was he saying those things? That 6,000 men were quiet enough to hear a man without a mic. I nearly died in my bed that day. 6,000. England became so imparted by his ministry that in the hospital, when a sick person comes, they write, you know how they do referral? That you go to Western here and they can't handle it. They say, go to Ogara. The doctor will write there, referred to C.H. Spurgeon. They were referring people from hospitals to his crusades, to his gathering. A man without mic. The biographer said that if a pin dropped, you could hear it. How did those men preach like that? Now we have projectors. You know, when you're even in church now, people are, are saying, I celebrate you. They are clapping for you. Glory! So you're looking good. A brother was telling me that if you don't dress well, the ushers will usher you to the back. He tried it once or twice and found himself at the back. So when he goes now, he goes well packaged. So when they say, Glory, look, look at you suit. Take him, take him to the front. So he goes to the front. He sits there. And the packaging is so lit. So, you, I'm not against packaging. I like packaging. You know. If I had money, I would have painted all the walls by now. And <laughs> I like a nice place. But you see, with all our packaging, we don't have the kind of results men who didn't have microphone had. Does it not tell us something is wrong? Wait, did the Bible not say the glory of the latter house shall be greater? Does it not tell us that something has gone terribly wrong? That's what that woman was saying in that, in that message. He said you need to get rid of all these gift offerings to get a car. Did you hear it? All these, all these, uh, what else did she say then? Uh? Eh? Offering for a covering. Covering? For coffee? Okay, for coffin. Uh, you buy yourself out of debt. You know, you buy yourself out of debt. Say, I see, I see dead. Let me not point to anybody, they will say it's prophecy. Say, I see dead. Come with a seed. Come with a seed. I remember a man of God came to the youth church one time, brought a preacher. And the preacher stood and said, Come and put offering in his hand. Eh? You will see people who, who even beg for transport. Eh? Man of God. They beg for transport. When when service finishes, they meet pastors and say, No transport. But the minute the man of God say, come and put offering in my hand and you receive a miracle. They had money. They came with money. That is what we have become. Music in the church has been reduced to, if we now put it side by side with the father, because you see, something I need to tell you about music. Music is, 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 is driven by the culture of the people. Are you here? This is why, if you look at the American culture, the liberalism in the American culture is in their music. Huh? Do you know that the American society is liberal? I can wake up in America, if I'm an American citizen, I can wake up in America and say, I'm no longer a man, I'm a goat. Yes, and, and, and I, will, I will be living like that as a goat. And if you dare call me a man, I will call it discrimination. I told him I'm a goat, he's calling me a man. What an insult. So a 50-something-year-old man can wake up one day and say he's no longer a man. That he's not a woman. Then he goes and takes injections and everything. He starts dressing like a woman. Bro, you are a man. You are a man. You can change your name, change everything. Give yourself all the things that a woman has. You are a man, sir. We know you are a man. Oh, may the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Thank you for watching that video. I know you are blessed. I pray that the Lord will give us understanding. Uh, this is a great privilege for us to listen to the voice of God. And I pray the Lord will make us the doer of the word and not the error holy in the name of Jesus. Please do have to like our video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. And also, drop your comment. I pray that the Lord will help us. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs>